Communism and faith are at odds tonight in Midland. The man at the center of it all, Bob Fu, the founder of China Aid. A group of what we are told are hired protesters traveled by bus to Midland to protest in front of Fu's home. That's what you see right there. Fu is a pastor and also founded China Aid, a nonprofit that advocates for religious freedom in China. Federal agents from the FBI and CIA are now on the case working to figure out why Fu is being targeted by a man with ties to the Chinese Communist Party. That's our top story tonight at 10. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. It's a very complicated story that honestly had a lot of us scratching our heads at one point this afternoon. We have team coverage tonight breaking down all parts of this story. Jonathan Pulasek is outside of Midland City Hall where the mayor weighed in, even calling on the Chinese Communist Party. We'll check in with him in a moment, but first, the thing protesters are working to discredit. Fu's Life Work in China Aid founded right here in Midland. The principles the nonprofit were founded on are illegal in China and could be the very reason this campaign was launched in the first place. Victor Lopez gives us some more background on the near 16-year-old organization. Victor? Yeah, Tatum, a lot of people are not familiar with China Aid, so here's a little bit about them to maybe help clear up the air. China Aid was actually founded in 2002. They're an international nonprofit Christian human rights organization. Now, over the past 15 years, their mission has evolved to one of exposing human rights abuses and promoting truth, justice, and freedom by advocating for religious freedom and the rule of law in China. Now, they believe that religious freedom, which is the first freedom, lays the foundation for all other basic human rights. Simply put, China Aid works as an advocate and supporter for Chinese Christians who are persecuted for their faith. Tatum, back to you. Victor, thank you. Now to Jonathan Palasek. He's live from Midland and has been working out the question of the day. Why is Bob Fu being targeted? Good evening, Tatum. The simple answer, the city of Midland just doesn't know. In his press conference earlier today, Mayor Patrick Payton said that federal agencies are investigating the threats made against Fu and his family. However, he also stated how the city is handling the situation. Fu, a pastor with China Aid, has a bounty on his head courtesy of Guo Wenjui, or Miles Kwok, as he's known around the U.S. There's some interesting things that have been transpiring here in the city related to uh, well, there's essentially some communist agitators who have been making uh, threats, not veiled threats, but aggressive threats towards Bob Fu and his family, towards China aid. Some of the protesters outside of Fu's house believe him to be a Chinese Communist Party spy. The truth is Bob Fu pretending a priest, and actually his true identity is CCP spy. He is here to collecting people's information and provide it to Chinese Communist Party. And for any so that the CCP knows who is against them. Fu, who's been here since around 2004 or 5, has been an important part of the community, according to Peyton. The most important part about Bob, Bob Fu's relationship is what he has done to gather people for the freedom of those who have been persecuted far beyond uh, just brothers and sisters in Christ, as he has advocated for Muslims, he has advocated for all religions, and he has advocated for secular artists who are getting censored for their work in China as well. But the city is working with the FBI and CIA to really figure out why Fu is being targeted. The question of why he's being targeted is one we're trying to find out. It's one we really can't figure out, except that um, I really can't even speculate on that. It's something we can't come to grips with of why someone in, the, in this organization is saying he's a member of the Communist Party when, quite frankly, all he's done has been wanted by the Communist Party. So we're still trying to figure that out. Peyton also tells us that Fu and his family are under the city's protection now and that due to the nature of the threat made against Fu and his family, that federal agencies such as the FBI and CIA are getting involved. That's why the FBI and CIA are getting involved. Reporting live in Midland, Jonathan Pulasek, News West 9.
The ringleader of the protest is believed to be this man. This is Miles Kwok, also known as Wee Gui Guo, a Chinese billionaire who is seeking asylum in America. Now, in this video posted to YouTube, he threatens Bob Vu, discrediting his work with China Aid, and says that he would send up to 200 protesters to his home. That's what happened today. The Wall Street Journal, though, reports that while Kwok says that he is here to expose Chinese immigrants working for communist China, there are actually court documents that show he is the one that is spying for the Chinese government. And another interesting fold in all of this, uh, Mayor Patrick Payton, and during his press conference today, said that, you know, if Fu is actually working for communist China, let's uh, send this list me right off a list of names of Chinese people that are being held and persecuted for their religious beliefs, ordering them to be released. Uh, a very interesting, complicated story. We'll continue to keep a close eye on it and pass along any information that we learn.